I rule. You're looking at it. This is the land of Hyrule. I did what I probably should have done from the beginning and made a map on the computer. I avoided doing that because I don't want to have to constantly switch between the controller and mouse and keyboard. Uh, so I printed out a map and I thought that would be easier, but it really wasn't. Uh, now that I've explored 100% of the map, I went on ahead and annotated my own digital map. Uh, I found a very nice, kind of minimalistic, pixely uh, Legend of Zelda map on the internet. Uh, I can't find a source for it. The original map just had the initials CE. Uh, so I don't know who made it, but it's very nice. Thank you. Uh, CE, wherever you are. Uh, all of the symbols and labels I put on there myself. Uh, you know, I started from a blank map. Uh, so if I hadn't discovered the, the secret of the tree at the dead end accidentally, I would have found it when I was looking at this map anyway. So, no biggie. Um, I decided to compromise and do a little bit of screen exploring and the most important discovery I made you can see down towards the bottom right of the map there uh, I cannot currently uh, point at it with my with my setup but uh, it's the bottom most heart on the map uh, I found another heart container just bombing this random location on this wall next to the ocean uh, everything else I found since the last video is labeled on there in green. Uh, I found some um, more rupees, uh, some you know moblins giving away rubies for some reason. I, I blew up a couple other doors belonging to elderly gentlemen. Uh, I found another potion shop and uh, another shop that shell shop that sells the shield for ninety. Uh, the most important exploration I'm saving, or I saved, for this video, because as I was playing off stream and or off screen, and I had a chance to think about some stuff, I had a couple eureka moments. Um, the first one is that I'm pretty sure I know where the silver arrow is. Uh, I think. And I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. I'm pretty sure that arrow up in the top middle part of the map pointing towards Dungeon 9. I don't think that's just a symbolic arrow. I think that also indicates something to do with arrow as in bow and arrow. And I haven't uh, bombed any of that area yet, so I will definitely do that. Uh, I will also go back to the mysterious... Uh, formation, rock formation up in the top left hand corner of the map with some bombs and see if I can figure that out. I suspect that that's where the last heart container is. So that'll help to have all 16. Um, I also realized that I need I needed to be more meticulous about labeling the map because the one that I printed out, I really wasn't notating where all the secret entrances were. Uh, as you can see on this map, they are indicated with yellow dots. Uh, and I know that's going to be important because I strongly suspect that I was right. That there is only one alternate exit uh, possible on each screen. Um, you know, each screen can have exits to the north, south, east, and west. Not, not all of them do, but... They all are capable of that, plus one more uh, fixed alternate exit. And that can be a secret door, it can be a staircase, or it can be just a normal door on the map, like a door to a shop. And the reason I think that is because of Dungeon 5 and, and Dungeon 6. Uh, I got to thinking about why there would be a staircase there that just goes into the dungeon. You know, what, what possible reason could there be for putting that there? And I realized that 
all of these secret entrances, uh, everything that I've discovered is going to be there in the second quest. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense. Every uh, hidden cave that I bomb my way into, every staircase that I discover under a bush, they're all going to be there in the, se in the second quest. It's just going to shuffle what's inside of all of those locations. And uh, I assume that they will move the dungeons around. And the reason those staircases are there in Dungeon 5 and Dungeon 6 is because they're going to be something else in the second quest. Like the dungeon entrance won't be there, or it'll be blocked off somehow, or, uh, you know, that, that those staircases will be meaningful. So, uh, when I made the map, I made sure to do all of the text as a separate layer, so I can remove the labels, have a separate layer for the second quest uh, to annotate what I find. And uh, I also put those check marks on there just to indicate, you know, I, I searched the screen as thoroughly as I can and I didn't find anything, just so I know for future reference. And uh, I can remove those as well. So I just have the uh, the base symbols here, and I'm probably going to have to remove the the heart container symbols and the symbol for the fast travel, uh, the four lightning bolts. I'm pretty sure the starting screen is the same in the second quest, so that star will, will still be there. But uh, I will know exactly where all of the secret entrances are, and I think that is meant to be your ace in the hole for the second quest, because you don't have the notes to go by. The notes on the map and the notes in the manual. Everything's completely new to you. And if you had to go around, you know, burning every bush again, bombing every wall, that would be not much fun because you wouldn't know you wouldn't even have a starting point to start looking for stuff like you do with the first quest so i think you are intended to annotate your map where where each of those entrances is located so when you start the second quest you don't have to waste time finding where the entrances are you just have to go in and and see what's there and i think that is the the secret to the second quest, the, the thing that makes it surmountable, because I never even considered playing the second quest before, because going into it as blind as I thought you were expected to just felt impossible to me. Uh, and now I think I realize how that is supposed to work, so I am excited to continue with the second quest uh, after the conclusion of the first quest. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, as you can see, I have 15 hearts now instead of 14. And I went on ahead and took the liberty of stocking up on bombs and buying another red potion so I don't have to waste time doing that. The be beginning of this run, and I have a decent supply of rupees if I need to replenish my bombs. Honestly, doing exploratory bombing wasn't as bad as I thought it would be because once you know the location of all the bomb shops, it really doesn't take that long to go back to one and, and stock up when you need to. Also being able to hold 16 helps a lot. Okay, so let's see if my, uh, if my fast travel points are actually labeled correctly. So, uh, I labeled the, this one as one just because it's the closest to the starting point. So, uh, the one that I want to go to would be, well, let's see, which, which one do I want to do first? Probably the arrow, I would say, which means I want to go to two. Yes, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, sort of arbitrary assignment there, but you need some some way of mentally telling which one is which, or I do, or else I get all confuzzled. So I felt like this is a pretty good balance of 
not wasting too much time uncovering random stuff. Because most of the stuff I found while I was exploring was uh, garbage. You know, it was cranky old men or, you know, additional potion shops I don't need. I probably should have uh, replenished my hearts first. Oh well. Uh, okay. Oh, and you might have noticed on the map, some of them are just labeled cave. Um, those are ones that I just couldn't remember if it was an old man or uh, a moblin that gave me rupees. I I'm pretty sure this was uh, a door door repair thing. So all of those I, I just labeled as cave. Once I start the second quest, all all the all of the labels should be accurate. Okay, so I am banking that. There will be something on the screen that will sell me silver arrows. And I already tried pushing all the rocks, so it wasn't that. At least I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. I sure feel like I just bombed every spot on the map, on the screen. Um, hmm. I really thought this was going to be it. Where the hell else could the silver arrows be? Do I have to stand here and blow the flute? Seems unlikely. No? Um... Do I have to shoot the arrow with an arrow? Is it telling me to shoot an arrow in that direction? Do I have to shoot him at the wall? Okay, well... Um... No worries. Narrator's note. The player was actually very worried. So is this arrow really just here to point at Dungeon 9? Seems so weird and, ar and arbitrary. Like, on my map, I have the screen directly to the south of this one um checked so so I'm, I'm pretty sure I tried bombing everywhere there too huh okay well no worries I can always go back for more bombs if I need to actually I, I'm not even going to do that I'm going to do this. Okay, well, that was a bust. Let's try following my other lead, which is the weird Stonehenge-like screen with uh, the rock formations and the, the trees. Hmm, I, I really wonder if I'm missing something there. Try bombing everything to the south of that arrow. It's 
sorry. I was just looking at my map, trying to... Trying to get a sense of what it's trying to tell me. I wonder if I have to shoot the rock that the arrow was pointing at with an arrow? Because you can't bomb the sides of any structure. Like, you can only... I mean, you can, it doesn't do anything. You only ever find entrances on, you know, north-facing walls. Um, and there's not going to be a secret door to the left of the final boss room. Final boss room of the ninth dungeon, because there's already a potion shop on that screen. And if my thinking is correct, there's not going to be... You know, it's technically impossible to have another exit on that screen. Alright, well, let's check out Stonehenge, and I might... Uh, I might have... some more ideas in the meantime. Um... So that was four, which means one, two. Yeah, I was I was really expecting to find something there. And it's possible that I have tried bombing that screen before and forgot about it, which is one of the reasons I'm I'm annotating everything so carefully now. Uh so I want to go see if I go up here. It's this guy. And the guy who gave me the white sword is gone, right? Let's let's kill the Sola. Because the arrow is also uh, so the arrow would be directly to the west of where where I'm standing right now, screen wise. The manual said something about there being secret doors inside of these caves. Or at least that's what it's, that's what it sounded like. And I'm think I'm thinking that's bullshit. Or a mistranslation or or a misunderstanding or something. Okay. Well, this screen is also a lake where there are no fairies. So let's try blowing the whistle. The flute. And to see if anything happens. I seriously doubt that's it, but, you know, I am in try everything mode. Yeah. Because I do know that I need those arrows. Like, I remember that being a requirement for killing Ganon. And unless they're they're in Dungeon 9 somewhere, I have no idea where they are. And if they are in Dungeon 9, then... You know, the map in the manual doesn't indicate that. Alright, so this would be... Directly to the south of the arrow screen. Okay, I'm, th I'm thinking... You have to be able to use the ladder here for a reason, right? Because they only ever let you use the ladder in the overworld when there's a reason to do so. Well, I guess the reason to do so would be going into the waterfall. Except you don't really have to... Well, no, actually, you can't... You can't use the ladder on this screen. So why would they let you use the ladder on this screen? If there wasn't a reason for it, right? And 
And I'm, I'm thinking it might be another one of those walk into the wall situations, like with the the tree at the dead end, but that doesn't seem like it either. And I'm pretty sure I tried bombing all, all of these too. I don't have a check mark on the screen on my map, but I think that might just be because I forgot. Okay, well. No point in letting those bombs go to waste. Okay, I I'm gonna check out Stonehenge and see if I find anything. Because that might be where the arrow's located. Like, the arrow is pointing in that general direction. Even if it's not like a straight shot from the arrow. Dang it. I'll take this road, sir. The road out. I really need to map a mute button. In fact, I will do that now. One moment. Okay, done. Hopefully, I remember to use it the next time I talk to a fairy or, or drink a potion. It's the, uh, well. Oh, does muting it unthrottle the, the speed, too? I'm pretty sure that button's not mapped to anything else. Weird. Okay, anyway, that was four. I need to go to two. Alright, let's check out Stonehenge. Which could refer to a number of different screens in this game. But I specifically mean the Stonehenge with the trees. Yeah, Hyrule has an awful lot of regular rock formations in it. Also, a lot of irregular rock formations. Hmm, I wonder if that river is laterable just because this one is. Like, just for consistency. Hmm. I don't know. So... Yeah, I want to continue going this way. See, this is... Oh, that would be a money-making game. Don't want to mess with that. It says that I've checked off the screen, so I'm going to believe myself. And believe in myself. Like, I know that this is... a solvable problem. Alright, we are still one screen south of the line where the where the arrow is theoretically pointing. Because it's the uh <clears throat> the very top line of the screen. I forgot that numerous centaurs kinda sucks. Pretty sure I tried burning all of these trees. But I suppose I could try bombing them instead. Oop! Ah. Uh, I wanted to, like, use some bombs before I picked that up so it wouldn't be a waste. So I might as well try burning them again. Actually, let's leave the screen and come back. Because I think having the, uh... Having the stopped time going might affect some other things besides just enemies. Like, once I tried to use the flute while time was stopped, and the tornado just kind of went right through me and didn't pick me up. So I'm, I'm worried that the, the time stop might affect some other stuff. Okay, that's nothing. And I don't think I've tried bombing any, any of the walls here either, so I will try that. Okay. Oh, actually, my, my map says I have. 
All right, I want to save these 12 for the for the rock formation itself. There are a bunch of walls up here that I haven't tried bombing. But like I find that it's more likely to find good stuff in spots that look a little bit unusual. Uh, the one exception being the heart container that I got off stream that you find just by kind of bombing a random wall. All right, so this is in theory where the arrow would be pointing, uh, you know, the ultimate conclusion of the arrow's path on the map. I know I said I wanted to save these for Stonehenge, but I was curious about that. I guess one might describe the shape of these rock formations as arrows too. Alright, I've definitely tried pushing all, pushing all of these rocks and burning those trees. But try again for good measure. I guess they, they look more like arrow heads than actual arrows. Which kind of makes sense, you know, if you're upgrading your arrow, you're not necessarily upgrading the shaft, because shaft is a shaft. Although I think the sprite does change the color of the shaft as well, but, you know, it's, it's Nintendo times, they needed to differentiate it somehow. I'm starting to feel like I have bombed this stuff. Like, my gut is telling me to do something at the point where... ...where the triangles converge. But what would that even be? Like, the, the the point at which they converge is is this tree that's off screen. Like, I can't do anything with that. Yeah, I don't think the answer is going to be shooting arrows at anything. But what if it is? Like, what if? What if a lot of stuff? And this is one thing that there's absolutely no hint about in the manual. Like, it says that silver arrows exist. Ah. Is this anything? Let me write this down on the map. Okay, there it is. Up, up left hand corner. I made it a red dot so you can see it more easily. See, see that it's new. Ah, uh, that was frustrating and a bit anticlimactic, but now I know. Alright, there are several more spots where I can, I can bomb up in this area if I didn't just run out of bombs. Okay, well, you know, I don't... I don't need to have found everything on the map, you know? The game isn't going to reward me for having a 100% complete save file. You know, I know that door guy's there, and that's the important thing. So this way I keep my rupees, and I would have had to, you know, go to a different part of the map anyway.
I remembered eventually. It also makes that an animation go a lot faster because of my throttling settings or whatever. So bonus. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I go back to where I just was and try bomb me a couple a couple other things. So there's a hint here. Just that guy. I told myself I wasn't going to use frame skip when I played this game. Or or any game, really. Uh, because I think it's less fun to watch that way. But if muting the audio as the unintended side effect of enabling frame skip, I mean, you know, that's not my fault. I didn't program the emulator. No, I'm, I'm only going to do that when I'm restoring health or, you know, drinking a potion or consulting a fairy. Ah, oh. okay. So I've checked the screen off. Alright, let's go back up to the very top part of the map here. Nice. Sorry, I was just checking something. Alright, none of these surfaces are bombable. I bombed every bombable surface here. walking into the walls. Try bombing this other rock. There's not going to be a second, second hidden door. I mean, if there's a secret passage that goes north, that means it would take me off the map. And on the map, you can see. The, uh, the dead end tree secret. Or tree crit. Right, that, that would be a potion shop. Ah. Almost had the rhythm down for a second. And there's no other screen on the map that's, like, inaccessible. Well, let me tell you, I am getting flustered. No, no nice way to say it. All right, I'm going to bomb the exact tile for 
every single one of these wall tiles. Just to make 100% sure that I didn't somehow miss it. Sorry, I have to pause for a moment. You were back. Okay. So, I was just curious what it said in the manual that I was th thinking of. Uh, so it's one of those little sidebars that have various hints. Some of them seem to be real. Uh, this one says, In the caves where people live, are invisible closed doors. How to open them? That's a secret too. And I'm not sure what that, that's a reference to. Uh, that might just be a hint about the, the goblin that I had to give the meat to. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, both of my ideas were a bust, so... I think I'm just uh, going to head back to level 9 for now. Because whatever the secret that I'm missing is, it's uh, it's got me stymied. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to go into level nine without, you know, a full supply of bombs and hopefully full hearts if I can get there without getting hit after I visit the fairy. Thank you, Fairy. I've been watching a streamer who does a lot of classic RPGs, and when he first started streaming them, he was taking his time and, and pay, paying attention to the game, and the more that he plays, the more he started uh, fast-forwarding through everything and not really paying attention. Which, I mean, they're all games that he played multiple times in the past. He's just going for... Like, achievements now. So, you know, I don't, I don't blame him. But I'm finding it a lot harder to watch. I don't think I like it when... Like, I don't like watching games being fast forwarded through, especially because with his settings uh, it increases the speed of the music as well. Like something about that really like makes me feel tense. Would there be a secret passage in the Lost Hills? Like, there's te technically not a fifth exit on the on the screen. Even though the ways the four exits are is a little wonky. I'm going to say no. And then the screen has one beside the waterfall, so... Not going to be anything else here. Oh yeah, it's really hard to get to Dungeon 9 with full hearts because you have to go through the, the dang rock slide. But luckily, my, my blue ring protected me.
Invisible doors in the cave. Caves where people live. I mean, no one lives here now anyway, so... I don't think that's it. Yeah, and who knows what, what that- what information that is actually trying to impart. And then, to the left of here, we just have the potion lady. And a butt-ton of centaurs. Okay, well, into the breach, I suppose. Still haven't found the map. Those are visible doors, not invisible doors. Oh, Jesus. Well, this didn't take long. Take it. Yeah, there are a bunch of these rooms that I still technically haven't cleared. Even if I found... You know... Or even if I've made my way through them. Like, there are a bunch of rooms, like this one, where I haven't killed all of the enemies. Or possibly this one. I'm pretty sure I, I have here, though. I think, I think I did that at some point. Does bow and arrow work on these guys? I mean, what if the silver arrow is just a random upgrade that I find by clearing out a room? Like, it's totally possible. That's so how I found the magic boomerang. Of course, that was from a type of enemy that uses the boomerang. And whiz robes don't use arrows. So I doubt it would be this. But these these rooms with like the gravel pit kind of floor. They usually have something in them, right? Usually does not mean always. Or it, do, it did, and I already got it. Also quite possible. I probably shouldn't take anything for advantage on this map. I, what I think is the right edge of the map, and thus there are no secret doors there, that might not actually be the case. This may be one of, one of the rooms that I haven't cleared, because the combination of not being able to use my sword and like likes is not a great combo. The wand works okay on like likes. Oh, thank god. I mean, if I lose my, my shield, I'll probably just reset. Because the, the amount of time it would take for me to go back to the the fairy spring and come back here is probably less than the amount of time it would take to get enough rupees. Well, I can go to one of the cheap shield shops. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. And honestly, I might reset if I use both of my potions, right? I mean, why not? Unless I make some sort of progress in, the, in this dungeon that I don't want to lose. 
Like if I find the map, I wouldn't I wouldn't reset. That would be useful enough. Want to save that progress? I guess I don't have to stop using the wand just because they're on fire. Like I can continue hitting them with the waves. Doing okay on bombs for now. Should have switched back to the wand. I need to remember to do that. Right, I can one shot the gargoyles now. That's helpful. Wait, was this room always? Gargoyles? I remember it being something more challenging. Huh. Okay. Apparently I haven't explored as much of this area as I thought I have. Like, I, I haven't been south there. Oh, interesting. I was in a room similar to this one. Well, let's see if I get anything for clearing the enemies. I want to say probably not, because there were al already bombs sitting there. Yeah. Okay, so we have like likes and anti-sword ghosts, but no, no, no wizard robes, which is nice. I think I will use my strategy of keeping my distance and taking care of the like likes with, with the wand. Which doesn't work when there are whiz robes because whiz robes are immune to magic. That kind of magic, anyway. Hint? Oh. I'm like, at this point, I'll take what I can get. Maybe I shouldn't manually map this dungeon. Like, I, I didn't think it would be necessary. But this one's pretty brutal. My wallet is now... half full. But I like to think of it as half empty. Stay away from me. You beast of meat and syrup. Okay, nothing here. Should've switched to the wand. Oh, one of these. Well, the wand won't help me here anyway. I'll have my potion ready, just in case I need it. Which I probably will. This enemy sucks. Still not as bad as wizard robes. When I said wizard robes are my new arch nemesis, I meant it. I want to potion up. Nothing happens. The shutter doesn't open. I don't get anything. Oh, 
snaky. Ugh. It's teasing me. Dark room? I know the solution. Oh, thank god. I see a room with slimes and bats, and I just breathe a sigh of relief. Another room that I'm going to survive. Hey, I'm trying. To destroy your property, thank you very much. Also, it's making me nervous that these shutters aren't opening. <laughs> Should have switched to the wand. Hint? Okay. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you for your help, sir. Thank you for a coherent hint. I'm sure I would have tried bombing my way into the eyes anyway, but... Uh... You know, I'll take all the help I can get. Alright, so... The eyes of the skull... There would probably be one right... Right to the south of me. It's a little hard to tell without the map. Okay. I might not be able to get in that way. But I can open this door. Okay. So that takes me, takes me back there. Um. Well, if I go left, I'm just going to cir circle around again. So looks like I want to go back through that passage to the east, and then south. I really thought that that arrow thing was going to be breakthrough. Like, I was like, all the time I was like, why would there be an arrow there pointing to a spectacle rock? I mean, it already, it, it gives you a hint about that. And there's another hint in the manual, although possibly the manual was, you know, didn't have input from the designers. So maybe, maybe the arrow is the game designer's hint, because they didn't know that extra hint would be there in the manual. Which is possible, it's kind of, I mean... It's kind of a leap of logic. I like how I took out that fly monster a little bit ago. I think my patience and perseverance paid off. Because I did take damage, but not much. Not not as much as it could have been. Okay. Well, I bombed both of those walls. Pretty sure I bombed both of those. that one which means now I guess I just go up and circle back around to the east fill these like likes again just in case they drop anything and it's it, it's pretty safe maybe like likes don't drop anything Oh, things were going so well. And you have to get the whiz robes involved.
Alright, they seem to get a bit confused when I'm on the lava. Like, I'm still vulnerable to them, but they don't necessarily aim for me the same way they they would otherwise. Just, if I happen to be in their line of fire, it's, it's a lot harder to avoid them, because I don't have as many, many directions I can potentially go. Alright, let's just try killing all of the enemies. I don't know what I just got. Did I pick up bombs somehow? I must have. Alright, I thought I'd try killing the enemies and, and see if it made any of these blocks pushable. Not from this angle. Surely I've tried bombing this wall. No. I must have run out of bombs. Oh boy. Uh, something about fighting in enemies in an in all-black room freaks me out. Like this, this is supposed to be a safe area. There should be a kindly old man here to give me a hint. Not unkindly old whiz robes. To give me... Sonic Boom. <sighs> okay. Well, looks like the boss and or the Triforce is in the other eye of the skull. It's not much of a secret. I was hoping for better secrets than, than that. Oh. He sounds so in indignant. He's like, oh. Excuse me. Alright, I've been to that room, so I'm not wasting a bomb there. Hmm. I thought maybe there would be wall masters I would have to kill. The only show up when you're up against the wall, but no, this room is just empty. Still have mostly full health and an extra potion, so things could be going a lot worse. Boy, it's sure not confident that I don't already have the Lion Key. Because it's given me an awful lot of locked doors. That are no longer an obstacle. Alright, well, I've been this way, so I'm, I might as well open up. Oh, right. Okay. Can any, can any of these blocks be pushed from this side? No. I wonder if these, if these things count as enemies for the purpose of blocks being pushable. Like, I, I know... Like, I wonder if the presence of that enemy means, you know, guaranteed no pushable boss in that room because because you can't kill them. Oh, I'm out of bombs. Oh, crud. Well, now what? All oh, right. This kind of the old man didn't have a hint for me. He guided me to my doom. 
More like go to the next doom. Right, this is the, the path that I kind of committed to in the last video. And uh, it, it ended up not working out so great. I mean, I did make it pretty far into the dungeon. Why did I have the... I don't know why I had the bow equipped. Because usually when you run out of bombs, it auto-equips the boomerang, right? Huh. Ah, crap. I didn't want to split you. I really need to clear this hell room. Jesus. Oh my god, how much damage is- Oh. I don't like that. I think that was a fireball. Crap, I just got hit by it. That did like three hearts of damage to me. Because the, these, uh... No. No, I guess it wasn't that much. No. Oh. Thank god. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm officially freaking out. <sighs> I have another potion. I wonder if it auto-uses the potions if you die. <sighs> and of course, nothing for, for clearing this room. Nothing. Maybe I cleared it before, I don't know. Made it an offering. It's not interested. It's a real bummer. It's a real bummer of a discovery. I don't know if I've cleared that room either. Right, okay, I remember this. So once I kill these centipedes, these stairs will take me to another part of the dungeon. And I had one of those, the Patra, the fly monsters. But I feel a bit more confident about fighting those now. Well, no, because one of the Potras was in a room with, with flaming fireballs spewing heads. And, and that wasn't something I could handle easily. Okay, this one... Wait, have I not gotten that key? This one is doable. I mean, there's no reason to get the key. Wait, is this the room I was in that I died in? Where I was like, that must be where the red ring is? Because I, I think the Potter I killed last time didn't have this um, sort of elliptical pattern. The, uh, or I, I don't know what you would call that. Sort of that pseudo 3D thing where the flies are you know, they're not just in a two-dimensional plane. Alright, I don't think I've been down these stairs. Or maybe I have. Maybe I have, who knows. Oh, I'm so tense. Oh, this is torture. Oh no! Why is this a thing? Why did it switch? Oh, right. Potion. I'm assuming that having the silver arrows would help me with some of the trash mobs too. Like maybe... Like, I know that it's a better... A better all-around weapon.
I can't go anywhere because I don't have bombs. I really don't like this shit. Like, oh, hope you have bombs by the time you, you know, successfully get through all of these hell rooms. If not, oh well. You just have to get through the hell rooms again. I mean, if I can find bombs in the, in the dungeon, then... M maybe I can go back to that room and, and the whiz roads will be gone. Maybe. I remember this room. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I want I want to put a wall between me and these like likes. I do not want to engage them in hand to hand combat or sword sword to maul combat. Oh, how did I clear this room? Because I had remembered trying to push each each of these blocks. Maybe that was just a very similar room. I'll be back for you. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh. Bombs. I mean, there has to be a secret staircase in this room. When you see two blocks in the, in the middle of the room like that, that's what that always means. Oh, that, that's a happy sight. Oh, that's mean. Why would you be mean like that? An item? Oh my god. What is this? What is this? That's all I have to say. I can't claim this isn't exciting. Not an item. Okay. Well, that's boss noises. So, am I just gonna walk into the next room and get owned by Ganon? Like, unless I'm misremembering a piece of vital Zelda information, I'm like 99% sure you have to have the silver arrows to kill Ganon. And I still have, I still have no idea where you, where you get them. Both of the rooms I could bomb my way into places I've I've 
are already been, so I'm not gonna waste it. I wonder if I have to kill that thing again if I leave and come back. No, well, that's something. I wonder if it'll respawn if I die and come back. I mean, if I die, like, I'm gonna have to, to leave to fill up my health. And get more potions. Why are they- Oh right, I never killed those whiz robes. I just killed the other whiz robes. <sighs> I don't like this. I want this to be over. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pick up the heart. That room I just left have a bombable wall, I wonder. Yeah. Potentially. Oh, this is a nightmare. I want things to stop coming back to life. Wait, that's a boss noise. Oh, I guess I'm two squares away from the boss. I guess, well, since this dungeon doesn't have a Triforce piece, the blinking red dot might be the boss. Or there might be a goal after I fight the boss. I just wanted to get into that room. And that's worth saving, I think. Okay, so I just took a quick break to get a drink and collect my thoughts. And I googled Zelda Silver Arrow Hint, because I didn't want to spoil it for myself, but I wanted some vague idea of what the, what information I, I was missing. And the very first result told me, without even having to click, that the Silver Arrows are in Dungeon 9. So I guess there's really no way to convey that information without spoiling it, I guess. Or, you know, I don't know where in Dungeon 9 it is, but I am glad to have that information. I, I wish that was included on the map. Because the map tells you both of the items you get from, from Dungeon 8, I kind of assumed if there were two items in Dungeon 9, it would have told you that too. But... Uh, it didn't, so I, you know, didn't have a lot to go on, so <clears throat> I guess I know that, and I'm, I'm glad I do. The last heart container can wait, uh, I don't need it, I'll, I'll finish the game without it.
I'll I'll look up where that is after after I finish the game, just so I know for future playthroughs. Because I probably will play through this again at some point. I do find it enjoyable to play for the most part. The only thing I really have an issue with is the whiz robes. Like the knights are tolerable. Every other enemy in the game is tolerable. The blue whiz robes, specifically, just move around and attack so randomly, and they take they take so many hits to kill, and they're so unpredictable. Everything would be fine if it weren't for the blue whiz robes. Okay. I'm not on tilt. You're on tilt. Oh, there are bombs right over here. Nice. And then for the potion, I can just go to the shop right next to the dungeon. Well, I guess there are centaurs over there, so let me see if I can find one that's not too far away. I mean, basically, the thing that they ended that run was running, running out of bombs. If I didn't run out of bombs, I could have kept exploring and probably found at least one, one item that will help me. But I've uncovered more of the map. Oh, there's potions right over here, too. Well, not right right over here. I do have to go around. Yeah, this is one of the only staircases under a tree in the game that is in uh, a, not like all of the other under tree staircases are either in their own column or to totally separate from any other tree. Like there are only two staircases that are part of like a larger shrubbery. Or a larger section of forest. Well, this one, but this doesn't count because you don't you don't burn that one. Or you, you didn't burn that one. You find that by, by pushing a rock. Uh, the other one is over towards the left. Well, yeah, I guess there are there are a couple that don't don't really fit the pattern. Okay. Sorry, I'm just wondering if this really would be the fastest way. Because I could also also go to the fast travel point with the centaurs, and then go south, north, uh, east, east, south, west. Yeah, it would probably end up being about the same, really. So, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Yeah, I have no idea where the last piece of the heart can be, but I'm guessing it's just a random tree that I haven't burned or a random wall that I haven't haven't bombed. Like it's hard to believe that the big weird rock formation and the top, you know, the northwest corner of the map is nothing. But that seems to be the case. Uh I wanna go north. Sorry, the fact that I have multiple scenes now with the game and the map means I'm constantly wondering if I'm actually showing the game or, or if I forgot to switch over because I don't have OBS, the OBS window up. Yeah, Just the, the game window and the map, which I, I guess it wouldn't kill me to have like a little preview window of the, uh, of the recording feed. I should have room on my screen for that. Okay. So the quote unquote I uh just had the compass. Actually 
Actually, I think the, the blinking dot is too far to the west to be in the other eye. Hmm. Get out my trusty wand. I don't know why I'm so terrified of losing my shield, because it's not like I'm using it to defend myself against the wizard robes. Because you can't with the blue ones. Like, if you try to block their their beams with your shield, they'll just keep firing indefinitely. And the second you move or attack, they'll just start hitting you. It works against the orange ones. Orange ones I can deal with, especially now that I have the magic sword. Blue ones. Blue ones are something else. I don't know if I'm going the right direction, but... Jesus. Oh, man. I don't remember if I've killed... All of those wizard robes. I don't think I have. Because that single block down there has to be something. I have a red potion. I can tank this damage. This block has to be something. No? It's not. Why else would it be sitting there on its own? Playing that video game. Like, I know a lot of rooms have mazy patterns like this. But I don't know if, I, if I've seen another one with just a single individual block like that. I guess I can sacrifice an occasional bomb just to see if I can find a faster route. Oh. Yeah, spawn directly in front of me. Great. Okay. So I have to go through like four of these staircase things. Which is a real bummer. Because I don't want to. I found the secret, everyone! It played the secret music! Alright, so I'm trying to get back to that one room with all the whiz robes that I didn't have enough bombs to continue exploring. Because that has to be something. So that was the path when I went south, because I hit that dead end, and I had to come back the way I came and take the right path. Need to not hit these gargoyles with the wand. Because if I can sword them, then they might drop stuff. Ideally, a fairy. Nah, I'm not gonna waste it. I figure. I figure I bomb that at some point. These don't drop anything, so it doesn't matter.
weird. They immediately died in one hit when they were frozen. That must be their weakness. Alright, so if I go west and then continue going south, then I should come to that room where I needed bombs. That is my hope. What was the deal with this room? Excuse me? Okay, well, I guess I go south and then circle back around and there must be another staircase. Oh, that must have been a fluke. I must have already hit the lake lakes with the fire. And I can't bomb to the south here, right? No. That would be that would be too easy. Right, yeah, I was concerned. Because it kept... It kept locking me behind shutters. Shutter, shuttered doors. Okay. I, I'm confused. But that's okay. Apparently the Eyes of Skull has a secret. Have you heard the news? Okay, I guess this was a different dead end. Wait. No, okay. Killing that doesn't open the shutters to the south. See if I can bomb my way into a shortcut. No, that's not going to be anything. I guess this is just a total dead end. Well, now I know. The sword doesn't feel very magical. Like, I don't know. I guess having four times as much damage as the wooden sword, twice as much damage as the white sword, that's okay. But when I think magic sword, I think like the ability to shoot beams out of itself. And they can all do that. Like the magic sword should like, you should be able to do it even if you don't have full health. To me, that would be a magic sword, not four times as much damage as a wooden sword. This isn't going to lead me anywhere productive, is it? No. 
No, that just takes me there. Is this whole thing just a fruitless waste of time? Okay. So the red dot isn't in the skull's eye. It's one to the left of that. But I still don't know if the red dot is the boss or whatever the boss is guarding. Like Zelda, I guess. It never really explicitly says that you're trying to find Zelda. But I think that's the implication. Okay, yeah, I remember now. I just had to... <gasps> right, and then I went down here. I cleared out this room for no reason. Or no, that was a compass. Which, I guess that's a reason. Oh, don't do that, Link. Do the other thing. Like, I'm so desperate to get away from the whiz robes that I just can't control my, my movement. Yeah, this was the suspicious room that turned out to be nothing. So, is South going to dead end, or is that going to be another staircase? This is a dead end. If I had the actual map map of this dungeon, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable trying to find my way around. Okay. So I guess I have to go through this whole gauntlet again. At least it's being relatively nice with the hearts. Oh, God, I hate when the bats do that. Like, I just want to get it out of my way. I should not be taking damage to bats. I feel the same way about it in this game that, that I do Spelunky. If I, if I take damage to bats, that's a restart. At least I know I don't have to clear that room. Or this room. And I don't think that's anything. To the left. again? Or is that not the way I want to go? Like, I don't even remember. There's only, what, two rooms that I haven't cleared, plus the, the Eye of the Skull? Wait a second. What was this? It's not the way I came. Oh, I think this is another path that I haven't fully explored because I died. <gasps> no, okay. I remember. 
No, but usually, usually I'm going through those stairs from the other direction. Like, I'm coming into that room. And scrambling, trying to get around the centipedes. <sighs> okay. Th that was just some kind of alternate path. Right, don't need to- don't need to do that. This dungeon is a head-scratcher. And a half. Okay, well this is where I ultimately wanted to end up... ...when I tried to come... ...this direction from the north. Right. Okay. Alright, where does this lead? Okay. I don't think I've done this room yet. <sighs> These things vulnerable? No. At all to arrows. I was just trying to tank it. My arrow looks silver for a second. The death screen. My famously excellent memory and sense of direction are serving me well in this dungeon, let me tell ya. Just call me Magellan with my mad exploration and cartography skills. Uh, at least now, now I know what I don't have to waste time doing. Walking into fire. I guess I do have my sword beam. I don't know why I'm not just doing that. Because uh, the wand sounds better. The one downside to the wand is it does take a long time for it to light the room up compared to the candle. Because if you don't hit an enemy, you have to wait for the beam to travel all the way to the other side of the room. Alright, go to the next room. this garbage. favorite sitcom. Ate that bat. Or would that be a game show? Alright, so this room should still be clear, I hope? No, not this room. That's the hell room. 
I should go through the bat room. And then north should be another staircase. Or the staircase is just in this room. Okay. Alright, go through here. Eat that bat. Go through here. Deal with this absolute trash room. I'm sorry. I'm blowing through these potions. Like they're water. But I need to. I need them. I need the potions. I need the health. Okay. So one of these blocks is going to open a staircase. And that's going to have the red ring. Or the silver arrows. It's probably this one on the far... Yep. Okay. Moment of truth. Thank god. It's a thing. I'll freaking take it. Now watch this one you use 10 rupees to fire an arrow. Nope, still just one. Are they effective against whiz robes? That's all I care about. Screw Ganon. Why would I care about Ganon? The whiz robes are my enemies. Great. Awesome find. Love it. I love video games so much. No, there's no point wasting. Good plan, Link. No point wasting arrows on bats. Okay, now where? I'd say probably right, south, and around. Hey, how about some drop? How about dropping some? Well, I guess right now rupees are probably the thing I want. I want to be able to buy another potion. If I have to. Which I'm sure I will have to. I don't anticipate this being the run. I just went around in a loop. Nice of them to build that like like defense chamber for me. Alright, what's in here? Oh. I mean, 
mean, technically I have what I need. Beat Ganon. I don't have potions or the red ring. Oh shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Fudge sickles. Okay, well, if I do have to leave the dungeon and come back, like, I know most most of the dungeon I don't have to do at all. I'm a bit confused by what isn't respawning. I guess the Patra counts as like a boss class enemy. So once you take care of it, it just doesn't respawn. Which, given how rare they are, that kind of makes sense. Okay, I thought I tried that. Oh no, that's nothing. I've tried bombing to the south, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I see a, a doorway on the map that I haven't obviously been through. Can I get there from here? Oh, wait, no, that just that just leads to the eye. Never mind. Um Alright, I think I have to go back this way. Okay, it's okay. I'm just taking the long, long, super long way. Okay, so I never have to go that way again. I never have to go this way again. I never have to learn and the Eyes of Skull has a secret. So I can't go south because of the closed shutters. I apologize to everyone watching who has a better sense of direction than I do. I'm sure for a certain type of viewer, this experience is torture. And they probably checked out a long time ago. So hopefully anyone who is continuing to watch is watching with the spirit that I watch these kind of videos. Which is watching someone discover how to do something basically. You know, watching their process of discovery and their ups and their downs, you know, sharing those, those ex exciting moments with them. You know, that's what I enjoy when I watch so someone play a game that I know really well. Most people, particularly people on Twitch, they seem to watch people play games that they're familiar with. Specifically so they can yell what the right thing to do at them is. And that's one of the reasons that this is a pre-recorded video instead of a uh, 
instead of a live stream. Because, you know, n not not anyone watching, you know, present company excluded. But there is a type of viewer who cannot watch someone play a game that they know really well. And, you know, not not play 100% optimally. optimally. Like, it causes them psychic pain. Alright, that just leads to the compass room. And I feel bad for those people because, like, I. It, it's so hard for me to. to identify with that. Like. Like, these people, they just have to. They, they just get so upset that people aren't playing the right way. And they just have to yell out the answers. And like, I get not being into that, but but then don't watch. Watch something else. Or watch someone play the game well. Or watch a game that you're not familiar with, you know? I am so, so confused. <gasps> I don't want to go to the next room, Grandpa. What am I missing? I guess I wasn't supposed to come back into this part of the dungeon at all. I thought there was one more path that I hadn't taken. But apparently not. I'm I'm just frustrated with myself, really. At being so bad at navigating and and remembering things. Like I don't want to be someone who needs an auto map to tell me exactly where where to go all the time, you know? I don't want want games to hold my hand like that. I like exploring. I I like discovering. That that's the stuff that I like about this game. And maybe I should have been making a map of this dungeon. It just, it seemed like it was unnecessary. Based on the rest of the dungeons. Also, I'm taking so much damage just walking into these whiz robes. Like, I can't even get through a room of whiz robes without taking damage. And it is so frustrating. Okay, that leads me back there. And that's- that's the beginning. Great. Well, if the Padres are permanently gone, maybe I should, uh... Since I'm at the beginning of the dungeon anyway. I'm going to stock up. And I'm sorry. At least I don't have to stock up stock up on bombs. So, just a red potion and one set of bombs. Should do me.
I wonder if I bought the wood arrow, if it would replace the silver arrow, and the game would just become unwinnable. I'm sure that doesn't happen. Alright. Slight Dark Souls. In incremental progress. Not to compare everything to Dark Souls, but... This game... Uh, it's a more apt comparison than most. Wait, those blue crabs drop five rupees. Kind of a lot. Alright, well hopefully this is the last time I have to do this. Uh, no, no, no. I need... I need P-hats, please. Actually, maybe I'll try the centaur out. It might actually be easier. Nope. Now it's a centaur out. Okay. Just because I don't have to, to deal with falling rocks. Might be a little longer, though. I don't know. It's hard to judge. Alright, so from here... Uh... I need to go up. And then right a bunch. Or I'm sorry, north and then east a bunch. What's that cave? Oh, it's just marked as cave. I don't know what it was. I checked both of those flat walls, even though they, they look appealing. There's nothing in them. So I guess I do have to deal with some boulders. Not as many boulders. Okay, so I have a better idea of which ways I don't need to go again. Man, the silver arrow should have been hidden on the screen with a giant arrow. How perfect would that have been? For some reason, I'm thinking I have to go north from the from the foyer. I don't know if that's true. I know I don't have to kill these. Nope. I am not saving up another 130 rupees to replace my shield. Not happening. I'm sorry. I hate that. I, I, I wanted to just slip by the like like. but it just zagged at the last second. It's so frustrating. What a terrible enemy. And yeah, I'm not actively using my shield that much, but just think of how many more times I would have been hit over the course of this video, if I didn't have the shield up, you know? Or if I didn't have the big shield, just incidental damage. Oh 
I wonder if the Lake Lakes are vulnerable to Silver Arrows. That might be a better way to clear those out than the the wand. As much as I do like the wand. Yeah, I think this way was a little bit better slash faster. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I wonder what Silver Arrows are good for, other than Ganon, if anything. I mean, they can kill red, red centaurs in one hit, but of course they can. So can my sword. Uh, yeah, I want to go south. Right? Wait. No, I... Okay, yeah, I want to keep going this way. Should be able to shoot those from mid flight with the silver arrows. Or with arrows in general. You can't even one shot a centaur with them? A blue centaur? Okay, so they're as powerful as the magic sword. So they're a projectile that you always have that's as powerful as the magic sword, but requires rupees. Unlike the wand, which is as powerful as the white sword um, and doesn't require rupees. Of course, there may be some enemies like the the pole's voice that are specifically weak to arrows or specifically weak to silver arrows. Not these things! That was almost a disaster again. Thank God. Alright. I always forget when I have the sword beam, because it never lasts very long. Okay, I've ruled this out, th this whole section. I've done everything there is to do there. So I want to go down one of the other staircases. There's not a staircase there. Right, this is the room I just came through. So maybe I don't want to go north from the foyer at, at all. Maybe I want to go west. Like, for, for what I need to do next, this might be the best option. Because then all I have to do is cut through this room. No like-likes. God, stay away from me. And this thing's back. Awesome. This is going swimmingly. Alright, well, I think I have to go this way. There must have just been a path I was missing. Uh, 
thought, if I do the second quest, I'm gonna have to map all the all the dungeons too. Because they're surely going going to also be this convoluted. I was saying in the beginning that I didn't want to do a map on the computer because it's annoying to ha have to constantly switch between controller and mouse and keyboard. But if I do what I was doing with the when I was using the paper map, where I would basically pause it and just update the map every few screens, that might not be that bad. But for the dungeons. I want to have to do pretty, pretty much every screen. Oh, you know what? I remember. I was in I was in denial because of the because of the Wizro room. I remember this this isn't just a dead end. hate this game. That's not true. I like this game, I'm just frustrated with my ability to play it. I think ultimately, I probably would have liked this game more if I wasn't recording it. Which isn't to say I haven't enjoyed recording it, I have. But if I wasn't, I would be more comfortable mapping the entire thing, like including all the dungeons. And like, I can do that when I'm recording because I can pause periodically. But like, it's, it's a lot harder to keep the momentum going. Alright, is there another... No. I'm done here. But I have to kill these wizard robes anyway, because fuck me. All I wanted to do was figure out what I haven't done, and that's impossible. Because going anywhere means killing wizard robes. Or more accurately, being killed by wizard robes. Like, I've completely lost the thread of my intended goal when I first came in here. This light light needs to back off. So if I go north from here, the shutters are going to close behind me because that's the huge one-way wall. There's like a whole section 
to on the right side of the skull that I that I haven't even seen. And I have no idea how to get there. Like, all I want to do is explore, and I can't because of whiz robes. I need to have my potion ready. And for all, I, for all I know, there might be more in that direction as well. Okay, I remember this. Did I say I need to have my potion ready and then equip the wand? No, I think I equipped the wand. For a different reason. Like, I feel like I've been this way. This is where I found the arrows, right? Unless there's another, another direction this way that I haven't gone. The nice thing about the wand is that it's like a gear guaranteed knockback, kind of. Also, I'm I'm glad it pauses while this is happening. So I can I can always mute it without worrying about the extra speed messing me up. Where does this go? Is this arrows? No. Okay, this is new. Is this going to be the boss chamber? Or the boss? I, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Maybe it's like the the pre-boss before you fight Ganon. Oh Jesus, okay. Here it goes. Okay, so it's like I reflect Ganon's thing back at him. And then I hit him with a silver arrow, right? Or no, I have to shoot. Like, I have to shoot where I think he is, or hit where I think he is, with a sword and then shoot an arrow at him. Crumble to dust. That's Ganon dust. Gross. Oh. 
I did, ha did have to save Zelda. Oh boy. Oh, sorry about the flashing there. So, I collected the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda split in eight pieces. I guess that's the Triforce of Power that Ganon had, which is Zelda's now. So yeah, it leaves the Id identity of the tenth, uh, or of the third Triforce ambiguous. Uh, I was I saw the name 1010 and it put the number 10 in my head instead of 3. Oh. Well. That was slightly anticlimactic. But I did it. I only died 51 times. I have a sword on the title screen. Meaning I cleared the game. And I can start the second quest. Okay, you still get your, your basic wooden sword right away. So that doesn't change. Alright, well, that is one quest down, and we have a whole new quest. Let's see, I don't need those anymore. I won't need that anymore. And I'm sure the locations of the heart pieces are going to be different too. Possibly the locations of the fast travel points. Uh, and some of this map might not be accurate for the second quest. Some of the locations of the dungeons may have changed. Uh, so let's uh, actually let's go ahead and Do a little bit of housekeeping here. So I want to clear that. All right, and I can replace that red dot up there with my usual yellow one since I don't need that anymore. You you won't see any of this until I save because uh, it's not reflected immediately. Right, I can put a dot there, uh, and I guess I'll leave the uh, the lightning bolts on there for now, the fast travel points, uh, until I discover if that's different. The star is still the starting square. Um, okay, uh, I think that's it. We are ready to go and I'm hoping that I'm right about my theory that all of these uh, yellow dots are still secrets um, these are all things that I found my on my own except for the the rupee thing the secret hundred rupees the tree of the dead end uh, but it feels good you know see, seeing all of these these things that I found. And I look forward to seeing what they are in the next quest. Uh, oh, I need I need to put a dot. Let's see there. Okay, that's where I found the first heart container, but it's not necessarily a heart container now. Um, and the lakes might have, might not have fairies at them. You know who knows. We'll discover that next time in The Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Fantasy.
quest number two. Take care. Goodbye, everyone.